Hendersonville police say they're responding to calls every day about kids driving golf carts through neighborhoods. News 2's Chelsea Bimefor sat down with an officer who explains why this is dangerous and against the law. Golf carts belong on golf courses like this one, but recently Hendersonville police have been getting a lot of phone calls about kids driving them on public roads. We're getting several calls a day. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Hendersonville police say they've caught more kids in carts on the streets. The number of golf carts that are on the roads or on in neighborhoods are growing a lot for whatever reason. Um, maybe from the past year and a half where so many people were uh, at home all the time, maybe that was something that increased. But no matter what age you are, Hendersonville police officer Jamie Owen says it's both illegal and unsafe to drive a golf cart in the middle of the street. A standard golf cart just doesn't have the capabilities needed to safely operate on a public roadway. It's missing important safety features like headlights, blinkers, and seat belts. The only way to legally drive a golf cart in the street is to register it with the state as a low speed vehicle, have a valid driver's license and only operate it in areas where the speed limit is 35 miles per hour or less. But Owen says you probably shouldn't take a swing at it. Or really our focus is this is unsafe and we want it. We, we don't want it to lead to someone getting hurt, especially a child and as many causes we're getting for this, we feel like we need to put the word out. Now, Owen says this is mostly just a safety warning, but technically, if you're driving a golf cart on a public roadway and without a license, you can be ticketed and fined. Chelsea Bime for News 2. Now, if you see someone driving a golf cart illegally on a street, you can report it to the police department.